What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So what we're going to be covering in this update is a little bit of the Ortex data that we have seen today. We did just get the exchange reported short interest numbers uh, from the uh, regulatory agency. So we're going to be taking a look at that. In addition to this though, I want to go over something with you guys that has the potential to have uh, some pretty significant impacts on the share price of AMC. We've seen this happen many times before. We touched on this in the live stream today and this could lead to not only a significant reversal in the price trend that we have seen in amc's price right now but a pretty massive run up to the upside similar to what we have seen in the past if a few conditions are met now in addition to this i was also thinking today about some of the timing um, of what's been going on with melvin capital with gamestop's uh potential stock split through a share dividend situation the timing of what is going on here is very interesting so i want to take a look at that with you guys as well so before we get into all of that information if you enjoyed the information and analysis that i provide for you in this video make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So today, guys, the market had a very significant red day. AMC, again, fell with the market today down about 8.61%. Did it need to fall that much? Absolutely not. There was no bad news coming out with AMC. Um, but a lot of these stocks right now that have the potential to grow or a little bit more risk on are going to sell off more than the overall market. And again, with what we've been kind of looking at on the chart over here, we have that 1348 cross down on the four hour, those closing candles below the 200 EMA. And AMC's just been kind of falling down with it. If you do want to learn more about the 1348 strategy, we do have that link down below to the discord we do have our algorithm out there right now that is trading by itself so if you guys want to take a look at that the link is down below but when we come over and take a look at the ortex data over here let me just give this a quick refresh right here um so we're seeing about 2.33 million net borrow of shares today so the securities lending market for amc is heating up a little bit 4.68 million shares uh were borrowed today short interest did go up about one percent we have 19.25 percent estimated short interest right here um and when we take a look down a little bit further this release date today uh for exchange reported short interest uh we have 19.35 percent so those are the numbers that we're seeing here um but here's kind of where i really want to get into what we need to see to see a very significant price movement to the upside in amc now when we come over and put these two charts side by side right here we're going to be looking at amc and spy these are things that I really want you guys to understand. And some of these statements that we're going to talk about here, you guys may not agree with, but I need you to look at this and really think logically about what we have seen over the past couple of months and how we've seen AMC react most of the time when the market is trending in one direction. And I want to take a look at this date right here. This is March 14th. March 14th, and then in this after hours pre-market trading session is when SPY hit its more recent low before it went on a run from all the way down here at 413 all the way back up to 462. Now, what is this date right here? It's the 29th of March. Now, when we come over and take a look at AMC over here, where was the more recent low? Well, we saw it hit $12.92 on guess what date? March 14th. Now, we start to see that 1348 crossover to the upside, those closing candles above the 200 EMA. If you guys have been watching this channel for a while, um, I kind of told you guys when I was going to start buying more calls on AMC, and it was right around when we saw this price action right here, this 1348 cross on the four hour, closing candles above the 200 EMA. Now, we start to see the price action start to kind of to kind of sputter along over here. And then we have that massive 44% green day. And then the halt day comes up, and that's March 29th. That's the same day that the SPY topped out as well. What I want you guys to look at here is something that I've been talking about for a very, very a long period of time. We need the market to give us that runway in order for us to run. If we do not see the market kind of take a breather or stop these very significant sell-offs that we have been seeing, we are not going to run to the upside. Now, when we're looking at the SPY chart over here, what do we need to see in order to reverse on the SPY? Well, we have a couple of these supply and demand zones uh, down here. We're going to see this level uh, most likely tested in the near future, this 411, 410 level. Um, 
But here is kind of the catalyst that we have coming up that is really weighing on the overall market. When you think about the market right now, remember, the market is going to have a lot to do with the initial price movement to the upside in AMC. I'm not saying that AMC is just going to go absolutely crazy because the SPY is going up, but that initial spark that is going to get us to the upside, that's going to entice more call buying, that could entice more retail investors coming into the stock, more institutional purchases coming in, um, maybe even some shorts covering some of their small smaller positions in AMC, if we were to see the price go up to a high enough amount, we need the market to start coming back up. Now, how are we going to see this? Could the market continue to come down? Absolutely. And that would most likely send us a little bit lower. But here's what we have going forward into the next week. What I also want you guys to keep in mind when we're taking a look at some of these things is I want you to think about the bullish and bearish catalyst going on in the overall market. It's very hard to pinpoint a reason why the market should be trending up right now. These sell-offs that we're seeing with the inflation data, a lot of this economic data coming out, the rate hikes, the war going on with Russia and Ukraine, a lot of this is pointing to the market coming down. Now, what we're going to see next week on May 3rd through the 4th is we are going to be seeing the uh, the FOMC meeting. Now, what this is essentially going to have us uh, kind of witness is we're going to see Jerome Powell raise rates again. Now, the first time he did this was in March, and it was a 25 basis point hike. Now, the second time, which is most likely going to be coming up uh, next week, is most likely going to be a 50 basis point hike. Powell says taming inflation, absolutely essential, and a 50 basis point hike is possible for May. Now, there have been some people that have come out, specifically Bullard, who have said that, oh, I'd be fine with a 75 basis point rate hike. But what you also have to think about is that the Fed doesn't just have rate hikes and raising their rates um, as a tool to kind of combat inflation and get us more on the right track. Um, they can control the balance sheet, do more of a balance sheet runoff to kind of control the situation that we are in right now with our economy. So next week, if things start to go well um, and the market reacts positively to the Fed raising rates again, that could potentially send the market going back to the upside. But it's also equally as possible that the market starts to come down. But that initial spike on AMC GME is really going to happen because the market in the overall uh, SPY, QQQ, IWM, all of these other big indexes and ETFs they're going to be trending back to the upside. Now, in addition to this, I kind of want to talk a little bit about this Melvin Capital situation um, and how the timing of this is a little bit strange. So the first thing that I kind of want to bring you guys towards over here uh, is this graph uh, from the SEC's GameStop report. What this is essentially showing us here is the total buy volume, um, the VWAP, and the short seller buy volume. So when you look at this chart right here, uh, the short seller buy volume is going to be in this orange color. The total buy volume is going to be in this blue teal color. Now, when you look at this chart right here going through this time period, it doesn't look like shorts are really covering positions in a meaningful way. It just looks like total buying volume is increasing. And that's why the price of GME was running up um, through January 19th to February 5th of 2021. Now, what this would suggest, especially with all of the kind of nonsense that we were seeing with Melvin, um, Citadel in 0.72 with all of those cash infusions, it's possible right now that Melvin is holding onto some more of those GameStop short positions. Now, again, they've never been confirmed to have been short AMC, but remember the, the stocks AMC and GameStop tend to move together. So GameStop shareholder meeting is going to be on June 2nd. It's also the anniversary of the really significant green day that we had last year. Now, when we take a look at what Melvin Capital is doing, remember they're unwinding their fund, they're giving money back, and they're supposed to finalize this by the end of June. The timing's a little bit peculiar on this because if GameStop announces that they're going to be doing this stock split through a share uh, dividend, uh, and now Melvin is saying, well, we need to basically close down our fund and get rid of everything, give our money back because we're already taking significant losses. We don't want to take any more. It's possible that they are still holding on to some of these shorts that they need to offload before GameStop enacts this type of action um, with their shares. So that is going to wrap up this update on AMC, this whole situation with what we need to see for it to really continue back to the upside. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next one.